Hello there. Nicola Sturgeon's SNP government has put out a new policy document pushing two main themes, that of a voluntary union and steadfastly European. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And please also check out the new video on our new YouTube channel, Central Broadcast UK. Link in the descriptions box below. Nicola Sturgeon's SNP government has issued a new policy document called Steadfastly European – Scotland's Past, Present and Future. And within it there are two main themes – that of Scotland being steadfastly European and stressing the point that Scotland is in what it calls a voluntary union with the rest of the UK. These are then combined to argue for a second Scottish independence referendum, the IndyRef 2, and for independence itself. And this policy document will of course be used to shape all their other policies with the sole aim of Scotland splitting from the UK, but with the added very foreseen consequence of dividing Scotland itself. But like all policy documents, this one will be used as a basis for shaping public opinion. Future Scottish Government language, messages and policies will be designed to divert Scottish voters' eyes away from the UK and towards the European Union. They've already been doing this, but this policy will provide them with a focal point. On the voluntary union aspect of the policy document, it tells a blatant half-truth. It says that during the 2014 referendum, those opposed to Scottish independence said that only by voting no could Scotland retain its place in the EU as part of the UK. Some may have said that, but here's what the SNP Alex Salmond government document, Scotland's Future, said on the subject of EU membership in the run-up to the 2014 Scottish referendum. It is the view of the current Scottish Government that the only real risk to Scotland's membership of the EU is the referendum proposed by the Prime Minister. And it went on to say that voting for independence in 2014 would mean that Scotland would be out of the UK and in the EU in its own right before the EU in-out referendum was held. But that bit seems to be missing from this new Scottish Government policy. But the policy does recognise the importance of holding a referendum with the approval of Westminster, where it says, The devolution settlement does not prevent the Scottish Parliament considering reserve matters such as the union between Scotland and England, but it cannot make decisions on them. This means that it would require a vote in the UK Parliament at Westminster, as well as in the Scottish Parliament, to ensure a referendum on independence can be held without the risk of legal challenge. But now that the SNP chief whip in Westminster has been forced to stand down, maybe Nicola Sturgeon and her SNP would be better spending their time on an anti-harassment policy. And how about updating their policies on meetings and minute-taking, maybe? And answering questions. So what do you think of this divisive Scottish Government policy? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.